Uh, well, welcome. Um, I'm Coach Hilliard, uh, the assistant head coach, co-defense coordinator at Virginia Union University. And I uh, just want to talk some de defensive line play. Uh, today I got for you the defensive line running pass game uh, fundamentals. Um, and just want to talk in that aspect uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I've been at Virginia Union. This will be my third season there. We're in the uh, CIAA Conference, which is a D Division II uh, school. And um, we're located in Richmond, Virginia. Our last two seasons, we've been fortunate. Um, my first season there, we went eight and two. We were pretty good. We were ranked um, in the country uh, defensively. And uh, last year, we went seven and three. And um, just about me, you know, I've been coaching. This will be my 16th season. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, play at Elizabeth City State University. And um, after playing, I got an opportunity to coach. And I coached at Elizabeth City, just worked my way up, started with the linebackers, and then coached defensive line and became the co-coordinator and the coordinator there. I was there for uh, 14 seasons. Um, Left there, went to Virginia Union University uh, with Coach Parker. Gave me opportunity. We coached together at Elizabeth City State. Um, and he gave me opportunity at Virginia Union to come and be on the staff. And uh, good things have come, came my way. Uh, in 2018, I was named the ASCA Division II Assistant Coach of the Year. Uh, that was a great honor. And uh, I had opportunities to uh, speak at the ASCA uh, convention uh, where I did the skills and drills and um, I've been a part of numerous um, clinics so you might see some of my stuff out there and um, definitely real open um, we'll, we'll start this presentation but if you guys have anything I have my contact information on the last slide if you want to talk ball or if you got any questions about um, what we will talk about tonight all right but We'll start off, uh, like I said, these are pass and run game fundamentals. Try to go a little bit here. I uh, try to get through it quickly because I have another PowerPoint or um, presentation I want to share with you guys. But the first thing is you want to be prepared. Um, a team that plays uh, the way it meets and practices, each meeting and practice should be a challenge for self-improvement. And that's one thing we want to tell the guys, you got to be prepared. Not not only your players being prepared, but us as coaches, we got to make sure we prepare. We studied the film we um charted what tendencies they have and you know we give our guys a game plan on how we want to attack the team you got to be prepared we, just, we, we preach that to our student athletes uh we want them willing to spend extra time on their weaknesses uh practice does not make perfect only perfect practice makes perfect as much as a game like tempo as possible in practice and that's kind of what we try to simulate uh, when when we do that um, some of our objectives, um, in order to be successful, we got to prevent the long runs. Um, we got to prevent the long passes, of course. Uh, we definitely got to have a greater consistency in stopping third and longs. I think that's one of the things we, you know, we try to key on in practice, making sure, you know, when we, we have those situational drills that we're stopping on third and long and third and short. And we also want to give our offense a uh, good field position so they can utilize their attack. We want to call some turnovers. You know, a defense line, I'm preaching to those guys, you know, we we aggressive animals and we want to be able to get to that football and we want to make sure we cause some turnovers. Uh, we want an interception or return and we want to have the toughest goal line defense in the country. Uh, right here, this is just some of our team goals. Everyone has to be committed, teamwork, conditioning. Um, you got to be a difference maker. Um, everyone has to give maximum effort. We got to swarm and tackle. Um, we got to dominate your opponent, and you got to have some enthusiasm. Um, everyone has to do what they're asked to do. I, I tell the line, um, do your job. And that's one thing you want to make sure you emphasize to your uh, student, your student athletes, just do your job. Don't worry about the next man's job. Just be able to do your job, and we have to communicate effectively. Player to coach, coach to player. These are just some of our specific game objectives. And, the reason I'm showing you this, I just want you guys to get a feel of kind of our philosophy at Virginia Union. Um, this is this is what we try to do, and these are the things that we've done that have breeded success. And you get you probably you guys have been coaching probably way longer than I have, 
These are just some of the things that we do. You can come up with your own game objectives, but these are just some of the things that we do. We want to make sure that we hold our opponents to 13 points or less. We hold opponents to um, uh, to 2.6 par, 2.6 yards per carry or less. Uh, hold opponents to under 250 yards a game. They'll run over eight yards. No passes over 20. Stop on two out of three third down situations. Allow no points in the final two minutes. Score set up at least score or set up at least one score per game. Do not get penalized. And we want those big play, big plays, excuse me, on the 16 per game. And you can see um, what we got listed here. Interception, fumble, sacks, losses, greater than three yards, stops three out of four, and the short yard is tipped and batted balls. So these are just some of the game specific objectives that we try to, we, we try to impart in our guys so they know, trust me, if you, um, if, if you implement this and you're able to execute these objectives more than often than not, um, you're going to find yourself in a um, winning situation or a good chance that you'll be winning. Uh, you'll be able to win that game. You guys do a great job of just talking about um, how you, what's your technique on run and um you know, you guys have just done a great job throughout the YouTube series. So just wanted to give my spin on it. Um, I was fortunate enough. I, I didn't stand in my introduction, but able to learn under some guys. Uh, last year, last summer, I was able to uh, do an internship with the Pittsburgh Steelers where I worked with Carl Dunbar. And um, he, he taught me a lot, uh, a lot from a defensive line standpoint. And I just took those things and some things I learned from um, a friend at Ole Miss and, you know, just pretty much making it my own, you know, taking bits and pieces of, you know, what you've learned and you got to make it your own. And that's what I'm trying to do here tonight. Uh, these are the things I've learned and these are the things that helped me um, be successful and just want to share that with you guys. So we could talk about run progressions and technique. The first thing we, we want to do uh, when we when we do when we're talking run, we got certain keys. The first thing is you have to uh, be aligned. You got to know your alignment and you got to know your assignment. And these are the keys um, when you're talking about run progression. You got to know where you're aligned, whatever technique or uh, whatever the scheme calls for. You got to make sure you're aligned in that way, and you got to know your assignment. Assignment, excuse me. Uh, your stance. We at Virginia Union, uh, we te I teach the guys a staggered stance, uh, sort of like a sprinter stance, because our focus is we wanna we wanna be able to attack. All right, so those guys are in a uh, sprinter stance. You know, when a sprinter gets out of the block, they're able to generate that power, and that's the stance I want my guys in because we want the same we want the same thing. We want to be able to generate that power. So. We teach a good stance, and I'll show you guys some clips here in a second. We always talk attacking off the football. One thing when I taught my student athletes, and one thing you might want to do um, is to make sure those guys are talking in football terms. You know, um, when we watch film, I always say, what's the first thing you're supposed to do? Um, attack. And those are the buzzwords that you want to hear. So create a culture of buzzwords that you want your guys to be able to, you know, learn and it becomes uh, the normal. It becomes what they want to do. And I always tell my guys, as a defense alignment, we attack. We attack, attack, attack. And that's what we want to do. The key to run progression, we want to attack off the football. Then we want to read and react. Uh, what I tell my guys is, once you're attacked, we're reading on the run. And you'll hear those guys, if you ask any of my defense alignment that played for me, they could tell you what's the first thing you got to do. You got to make sure you get a line. You got a good stance. And then after that, you got to attack off the football and then you read on the run. You read and react. Um, in our defense, we're 425 um, gap control defense. So everybody has to maintain their leverage in our scheme. We're not a read defense. Everybody's responsible for a gap. So in our run progression, you have to make sure you maintain that gap leverage. You want to defile, violently defeat the block. In this, you want to make sure that once you attack, you read and react, you maintain your leverage. Now you want to violently 
defeat the block. As a defensive lineman, you got to be violent, you know, and it, it's it's a bang bang position. You're going to bang every play, and you want to make sure that uh, you're violently defeat the block. You want to locate the football after you defeat the block, and now at that point, you want to be a playmaker. You got to make a play. So those are our keys to our run progression. Now, we'll show you some of the drills. We got the get-off drill, all right? And this is a drill that I utilize. One thing about in our get-off drill, we want to just make sure that right here, you can see the arrow pointing. Uh, we want to make sure that's, that's the sprinter stance we're talking about. We want to be shoulder-width apart with our feet. Whatever foot we have down, that's the, uh, excuse me, whatever hand we have down, that's the foot that is back. All right, so we want to be in a sprinter stance. The opposite arm now, um, back in the past, I would say you got to have it cocked and everything, but, you know, I've, I've evolved around that. So some guys can bring it from their knee and shoot their hands. Um, we're all about hand placement as well. We want to make sure in your, your gap control defense, you want to make sure you got great hand placement. So I tell the guys with that offhand, just make sure it's cocked and they're ready to shoot. When I, we talk about attack, they're shooting those hands. Um, the three things that I've learned, um, I know a lot of guys teach power step. Really don't teach that no more. I, I'm more of hat, hands, and feet at the same time. Because now you got the, your guy attacking off the football. He's not worried about if I'm taking a power step. I, I, you know, just coaching at this level, a lot of guys really can't do that. So, and even at the NFL level, you know, like I said, being at Pittsburgh, kind of got out of that power step. I just tell my guys now, your hat, hands, and your feet have to move at the same time. All right, and that'll eliminate that power step. I know a lot of guys want to take the six inch power step, and you know, I was one of those guys, but I've evolved from that. I'm just telling my guys now, we want to be able to hat, hands, and feet at the same time. All right, shooting our hands, getting our hands on our key. We, you're gonna see. We, we call our key, whatever our alignment is, that's our key, all right? Whether it be a two or a three or a five, that's our key. We want to make sure that we're getting our hands on that key. But in this drill, we got the get-offs. And get-offs, we just want to see you getting off the ball. What I say at first? First slide, I said the keys to run progression. You got to attack. So I just want to see these guys frying off the ball, all right? Fast as they can, I make it a competition. All right, let's see who can fire off fast. You can see me kind of as five yards, you know, and this defensive lineman. You, those guys, we, this could be a pre-practice drill. You can see right here, this is a great drill if, um, you know, you don't have pads on. You can always do get-offs. Um, pre-practice, you can get get-offs in during your uh, ND period. You can get these drills in, all right? But the get-offs, we just want to see you firing off the football. Again, you can see the arrows. This is a good stance. Again, that sprinter stance. And one thing you want to focus uh, when you do get off, this might be a right-handed stance going down, but when we go back, it needs to be a left-hand stance. And that's one of the things, you know, um, that I see a lot of times when we get kids on our level coming from high school, um, it's difficult for those guys to get in the different stances. And the reason they have to do that for us is because we change different techniques. So what a, sometimes your stance, um, you have to get in a left-hand stance because you're going to have to attack that side of that technique. So you need to be able to be interchangeable in your stances. Sometimes we might stun. Now we'll get to that a little later in the uh, next PowerPoint, but we might have a stun on where you might have to be in that left-hand stance and, you know, um, shoot or slant to the opposite gap. So uh, one thing I would encourage just to make sure when you're doing these drills, just make sure your guys are in right-hand stances. So you can go right hand all the way down and then go left hand back, all right? So these are just get-offs. You can see the guys. And one thing we emphasize, uh, ball key. Ball key means you got to watch that ball. Pretty much in all our drills, you'll see us um, having to go back. You'll, you'll see us having the football here where – they gotta, they gotta key that ball. And that just prevents us from, you know, those guys uh, jumping off sides. It's just training their thoughts. You, you wanna be able to train their throat, th train their thoughts. So, um, you know, they won't commit those penalties. So this, this is just a drill, this is a get off drill. You can do this going down. You got a lot of guys, I have four up. 
and those guys are just racing to try to get off that football. All right. So now we got our reason keys. All right. Reason keys are just our blocks. Uh, what I teach my guys, and you're going to get um, a multitude of blocks, but your three key blocks that you got to focus on is your base block, and that's a block that's coming directly at you. They're attacking right at you. Your reach block, oh, excuse me, your down block, a block that's going down towards the center, all right, or a reach block, a block that's trying to get outside. Of you. So in reason keys, I'm teaching my guys, those are the three blocks that you will get. Now, of course, you're going to get um, pin and pull, or you're going to get some combo blocks, and we'll talk about that here shortly. But the main focus of the blocks, of all of those blocks are going to come from your base, your down, and your reach block. All right? So right here, we're doing reason keys. Um, reason keys, right here, we're doing a uh, base look. And what, what I do, I partner the guys up. I put them on the line. You can go straight down the line. I know uh, sometimes you don't have a lot of practice space, but again, this is a drill that can be done in pre-practice. Um, and, and I recommend it's done in pre-practice. You know, um, just so the guys, we, we're also doing it in Indy, but just so the guys can familiarize themselves with uh, their reads and keys. Because remember, in the first side, in, in the first slide, I say we got to attack. So. We want to make sure that the guys are attacking. Now they got to read. They got to be able to read on the run. Once they're attacking off that ball, they got to decipher. Is this a base block? Is this a down block? Or is this a reach block? All right. So right now, right here in this drill, we're walking over our reads and keys. So we'll do it with partners, and then we'll do a full line. You can evolve in that. But right now, I'm just showing you guys. Um, for me, I got 18 D linemen. I had 18 D linemen. So it, it, it's tough sometimes to coach 18 guys so you got to partner them up and you stand in the middle and you just watch you know the the side that is looking directly at you that'll be your offensive side um and the side you're on that'll be your defensive side then you can walk across and that's how you can switch like that but right here we got the base block reason keys so all i'm asking on the base block like i said we just want those guys to uh attack him right now in our scheme on the base block bam we good hand placement right here, and you can read some of the notes that I put. But on this base block here, uh, this was a good rep on a reading key on a base block. Um, bam, he is attacking. He presses the office alignment back into that opposite gap. And that's what we want, that's what we want to have happen. He's still maintaining his gap leverage, right? Eyes in his gap. This is a great job. He wants to press him back into this gap. And now he's condensing that gap, and he's ultimately helping who? The linebacker. All right, still maintaining his what? His gap leverage right here. And this is a good job on this block. And you can see he also continues to drive his feet. One thing about defense alignment, sometimes they stop driving their feet on contact. All right, we have a drill where we hit the sled where I just want to see those guys keep driving their feet, and keep driving their feet through. All right, and you want to emphasize keep driving your feet. You want to keep those feet moving um, so you'll be able to make a play. You can see right here, he's he's also extending his hands. And look how he does. He extends his hands without turning his body because now he's still what? He's still maintaining his gap. That's good pressure. And that's where those bench presses. So for us, you got to be able to, like I tell my guys, a key thing that I want to see from a defensive lineman, just how much he can squat and how, how much he can power come. Those are lower body lifts that they're going to need. They got to be able to, you know, get that guy up off all right, but this was a good rep on the base block. Like I said, uh, it's a good stance. You want to be in a sprinter stance to allow you to foul the ball. Hat, hands, and feet, what I just talked about, should be the, should be executed all the time. And you want to read on the run. That's the same thing we're talking about, read and react. Read, I call it reading on the run. Uh, you should be able to diagnose a block while receive, uh, you're receiving while still firing out your stance and utilizing the technique to defeat the block. Again, this is the same thing. So again, this is, uh, it might be a hot day. You might have your trainer come out and, you know, uh, well, you can't, you guys can't have pads on. Well, you can always do these drills. And these, these could be padded drills, like I just showed you, or it could be drills on air, pre-practice drill. And you, they don't need a coach with it. They just read and react. The office alignment, they get three reps apiece and they switch. The office alignment, just give them a read. Uh, you know, and he has the key and he has to read and react to his read. 
All right. Same thing here. He's getting, he's trying to get a reach block on that. All right. These guys here, right here, we getting a reach block. Now on a reach block, let me go back to this, to this technique on a reach. Uh, and it's so difficult. You know, I know I'm sitting down, but I'm a hands-on guy. I want to be able to show you guys, like get my hands on, but try to, I'm going to try to, you know, talk through it through uh, this presentation. But again, like I said, uh, in our technique, whatever hand is down, that's what foot is back. He wants to fire off the ball here. Once he fires off the ball, bam, he sees this guy is trying to get outside. He wants to use the push-pull technique where he's pushing with this outside hand right here, pushing him back, and he's pulling with the inside, not letting this guy try to get around and reach him. Now, what I tell my defensive lineman all the time, you want to be able uh, – you want to make your plays one or two yards across the line of scrimmage. Why you say that, coach? Well, if anything beyond that, you're going to run yourself out of the play. All right? You want those guys to be firing off the ball, but their plays are going to primarily be made one or two yards across the line of scrimmage. So once he sees that, he's got to know. He's got to have awareness. This is a run progression. He's got to have awareness that now, bam, I'm getting a reach block. I want to use my push-pull, push with my outside hand, Pull my inside hand, bam, one or two yards, not letting them reach. Once I once I see the ball commit, now I'm violently ripping off and doing what? I'm making a play. Easy, easy. Not nothing that, you know, this is easy. Easy. Been teaching, been teaching this for a while. This is easy. And these are the drills of Helco. You can see at the end, he ripped off, bam, trying to get that reach. All right. Same thing here, just Got a couple, got a couple drills where they're where they where they're reaching. Now we get the down block. All right. One thing I tell about guys about the down block, we'll go back to the first. Want to get in a good stance, his butt a little bit high. He need to get his hands out some more. But the down block is a block for us. I teach my guys the block are always going down towards the center. All right. And in film, when we're watching the opponent's tape, I my question: What technique are you in? Bam, alignment, assignment. What are you supposed to do first? You know, talk about the alignment and assignment. What technique are you in? What, what defense we, what call is it? Then I say, uh, what do they give you? Whether it be a down, reach, or um, whatever. What what do they give you on that? All right? And they're able to diagnose that right away. All right? So here, they're getting a down block. All right, down block is always going towards the center. And now... What we're telling this guy, he's got to squeeze, fill, and replace. He wants to be able to get his hands on this down block, right? He's firing off the ball. He sees this guy going down, bam. He wants to condense this gap. Again, he's only working one or two yards across the line of scrimmage. All right? He's still working one or two yards across the line of scrimmage. He wants to condense this gap, though. All right? Get his hands on this guy because most of the time, if he's going down, he's going down the block. Um another tackle or he's going to down to block a linebacker all right so he wants to be able to get his hands on this guy squeezing you can see right here he's a little bit too far up the field but he's squeezing you see how he squeezed that gap down that is so critical got to make sure he's he's closing that gap down and he's in a good situation where the shoulder square bam here um if he gets a pull he's able to wrong shoulder and that's one thing we spill and right? we wrong shoulder or if he sees anything, he's looking inside, he's squeezing, and, and it bounces out to the perimeter, he's able to pivot and go right now. All right? So, again, you're getting a down block. You can see we don't do a great job now. And in these videos, I'm showing you some good, I'm showing you some bad. And that's one thing I do as a coach. I, I try to always make sure I'm coaching those guys up, and I don't want to just dog them all the time. I know they'll tell you that I do, but I don't. <laughs> But you want to show them their good plays and you want to show them their bad plays. All right. And even with you guys, I'm just being, this is raw. This is raw right here. This is from our practices. I'm just showing you guys. They don't get it right all the time. I know you see some guys in clinic that's going to show you all the good plays. No, I show you the good and the bad. What not to do and what to do. All right. So we want to do that. But this is a down block right here. I want to make sure this is not bad. He's just got to sit down a little more. Same thing right here. You don't want to put your hand on his back. You want to attack the V of that net, all right, attack him down. Now, we do have some defense alignment. Sometimes it gets crazy, but um, 
using them. So you, you get what you, you get what you pay for, pretty much. All right. Sometimes you know they're not offensive linemen, but as long as they're able to simulate that drill, it'll be good. All right, got a game clip right here. We look at a uh, base block. We look at it from. Uh, We'll look at it from the end zone. Now, we're going to spotlight him. This is the base block guy right here. Like I said, this is something we've been teaching, but he's getting a, he get, he's getting a base block right now. He's in the shade. Bam. Does a great job. You can see what I talked about, extension, just like the first guy. Get his hands in. Let's see. Keep his feet chopping. But what does he do? He looks back inside. He's maintaining his leverage, right? He's maintaining his leverage. But he's not doing his job. And that's one thing I teach about, uh, preach about my defense line. Do your job. Do your job. Don't try to do anybody else's job. Do your job. And this is against a Division One team. All right? And with Division Two, we had good success against them. Last year, we were able to beat a Division One team. I don't think, you know, that happened. I think it was history for Virginia Union. So we were fortunate enough with that. But we had a lot of mistakes in this game. Had a lot of mistakes. But we were able uh, – to win the game, but it's all about the technique. And you can see right here, this is a good job on the baseball. He gets base, bam. He does a good job extension right here. I w the, the thing I would tell him on this is if he just presses this guy back one more step, the running back falls right into his lap. The running back falls right into his lap. Um, They were able to get a game, but doing your job. That, that is the thing. We'll look at another clip. Uh, you're going to see base block. Our defender initially does a good job, but looks back inside and loses gap integrity in which the offensive player is able to go around where he's supposed to be. Um, you can see good job right here. Bam, you can see him right there. He's hopping. He's hopping. He does a good job. He's getting a base block. He's got to get better extension, better extension. He tries. See, instead of him looking, he needs to press 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 they got back into that gap but you see right here he hops back inside which is not his gap and where does that running back go right where he's supposed to be so you got to show you guys this stuff you got to let them know like look man just do your job do your job brother do your job and it'll come it'll come right to you all right moving along got some combo drills now when we speak combo drills, these are the drills where you're either getting your double team or you, um, those guys are trying to power scoop you or you're getting a, um, a down block from the guard. Uh, um, you're getting a down – you're getting a pull from the guard, center trying to block back. We teach all those combos and uh, drills, and that's what we're talking about when we're talking about combo drills. And in our combos, it's the same simulation like we do our reads and keys, all right? And our combos, bam, you're going to see right here, we get our two guys, and this is with our pads. This combo drill, we just want to see, bam, this guy's trying to actually reach him, all right? So, supposed to get a chip here from this guy, this guy come around. We just want this guy right here to maintain his gap leverage on this. Bam, he does a good job, get extension, great he is. The, the only thing about that rep, that I would say, bam, he's got a fight. You can see I got the bag just simulating right here, him being one to two yards across the line of scrimmage. All right, he's, he gets too far up the field, and that's the only thing I would say about that rep. You can see me giving a double team. Now, on the double team, how we teach it, we want to attack our postman. Our postman is our key who we're on. All right, so the guy with the bag is the postman. We want to attack here. Remember, we're attacking right now. You can hear me say attack. Once we feel the pressure from this guy, we want to turn our hip violently into this guy, right? Get penetration. Get some penetration. And once we feel it, now we're going to violently rip off. All right, so let's see how we play on this. You can see me tell him we want the double team right here. Bam, he got to attack. You can see him stepping out. We, I don't know. <laughs> this guy's supposed to attack him. He's, he's blocking down, but he has a pad. But we're supposed to be getting a double team. You see him got his hip. He wants to violently take that hip and throw it right into this guy. We don't believe in doing dropping the knee or anything like that. Um, 
The reason being, you know, uh, we just don't have those kind of athletes that could do that. You could get some type of knee injuries. Uh, I think this is, has been the most successful way for me. Um, being able to attack that post, man, once you feel that pressure, throwing your hip right into that guy on uh, the double team. All right, you can see him still trying to maintain that leverage. He's got to get in. I'm coaching him up. We're going to try it again and uh, see what he do with it. Now, we're going to get right here where this guy's going to block down and this guy's going to pull. What we, what we teach our guys in that combo, we get the down by this guy and he pulls. We want to fight that pressure back. All right, still fight that pressure back from that guy. Now, that's a tough block. Uh, that's, that's a tough block for our tackle. But um, that's, that's what we want him to do. Maintain our skin. You, you can see he's good. He still tries to maintain that leverage in that. All right. Again, this is another combo drill. Bam. And this is not a bad job. This is a double. Now, again, I said we got defense alignment for our look team. So you get what you pay for. But we're just trying to simulate, just want to get in the rhythm of showing those guys those different blocks. Bam, you can see. Now, he didn't really attack, but you can see him realizing, bam, he realizes it's a double. He violently rips off. He just wants to be able to get more penetration up the field. Same thing here. I'm going to try, try to go through. Bam, right here now. Let's watch this. In this clip, bam, he's got to bring that foot right now. That foot's got to step in the ground right now. He's got to violently push that hip, and he doesn't. You see how it's off the ground? He's got to quick get them, get them puppies down quick, and he's got to be in that stance. Now, this is not a bad stance he's in, but he's got to get that foot down because anytime your feet are off the ground, you don't have any leverage. All right? That's in even in, like I tell my guys in fighting. Nobody, <laughs> when your feet off the ground, is not a good deal. All right? You want to make sure your feet are on the ground, and you can see right here, but off the ground, still off the ground, he trying to run around the block. Now, he's a true freshman this year. He's going to get better with it. But um, that's what we do. Now, this is not a bad job. That guy pulls. He blocks back. Bam. We pressing him back. He does a good job getting his hand, pressing him back. And now he's driving his feet through contact. Great, great job right here. Watch a couple game clips. So what I try to do, I try to show you what we do in practice and see how we, you know, get it done in the game. All right? So we're going to watch Big 99 again and see what he gets. Bam. Look like he's trying to get some type of double team, but you can see initially he does a good job. The only thing I can see right here, he needs to bring that hip, flip that hip right into this guy. All right? And he violently rips off. Bam. You can see if he can get that violent rip off, he could possibly make a TFL on that. All right. Again. Um, right here, let's look at it. Same deal. They're trying to really like power scoop was pretty much on this one, all right? So his job is to make sure he stays through this gap. This guy trying to chip, go here. He's trying to power scoop to here. So he should automatically be in that gap. He feels it, bam. Now, the power scoop and the double going to seem like they're the same type of block, all right? And we can play it the same. As, that's what I told my guys. It's going to seem like it's the same type of block, all right? Same technique. He wants to throw his hip into this guy and violently rip off violently violently rip off and if he violently rips off you can see right now he'll be tfl to the quarterback but now i'm excuse me to the running back but the running back gets a yard all right so moving along you saw those run run progressions we want to work on get offs we want to work on uh reads and keys and we also want to work on combos all right so those are our run progressions that we do every day i am telling you you stick to those those guys will be transformed into, okay, what you want them to do. They know. My guys, I don't I don't even have to say nothing. They can tell you, all right, coach, I stepped with the wrong foot. I did this, did that, all right? And I know I'm going fast and some things, of course, in coaching points and hand placing things that, of course, 
Uh, you got to do that. You got to step with the right foot. You got to step through that gap. Um, just want to show you some preliminary drills. Like I said, again, you guys can feel free to contact me. Uh, we can talk. I could talk all day, but I'm, you know, I got a time limit. So want to move along here because I got a couple, uh, another presentation that I want to do. All right. Uh, tackling drill. You always want to evolve tackling. Um, I know for us, we have a tackling circuit at times, but one thing I implore my uh, segment coaches to do, let's add tackling to our drill. You know, we don't get a lot of it. Um, I know they got the cool little neat uh, rings and everything now, and those are great. But you want to put a tackling drill, even for defensive line, yeah, we tackle. You want to put a tackling drill into, um, into your drill. And this is something that, I, you know, that I've learned that we do and that they know. So this is a pattern tackling drill. So what it is, he wants to attack this offender, bam, rip off. I got the bag right here. You can see the bag right here. He wants to just step over the bag. It's working like he's it's simulating like he's working down the line of scrimmage. He's got to step over the trash, and now he's got to attack and make a play. All right? I make these drills up, bam, he's stepping on the trash, bam, and he wants to wrap up, attack that uh, – Near hip, near hip, on this, attack, bam, 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 share that block, make a play, all right? And these are drills that we just do. We want to make sure we input tackling. You can see me in the background calling it. Let's, let's fast forward. Make sure you out of the way. Get out of the way, coach. Bam, step over the trash, step over the trash, go and make a play. Now, we, we don't want to, like, you just saw that last rep. They got stringing it out. We want you to attack right at the edge of the bag. Um, this is a thud. We don't want to, um, you know, we want to thud them. We don't want to hurt anybody. Um, this thud tempo. And that's the one thing that I think, um, and we're still working on that at Union. We just got to learn how to practice. When I was with Pittsburgh, man, those guys, nobody ever went to the ground. Whether it be shells, whether it be uppers, whether it be full, whether it be just shorts and shirts, nobody went to the ground. So, you got to teach you guys how to practice. It's a third tempo. We just want to get a quick third, let them go. We ain't taking nobody to the ground. You can't afford for guys to get hurt. All right? Um, in this drill, you just want to emphasize that this is a third tempo. That's why you see us using the bags a lot. Bam, bam, bam. Getting off, thudding them up. Now, you want a little bit more aggression than that, but you want a third tempo. This is another tackling drill. Now, you can see with this drill, we'll go back. What, what we want to do with this drill, we want guys to be able to change direction fast, all right? So they starting off in a regular stance, but now I got them switching or flipping their hips, all right? And as a D lineman, you're going to have to flip them hips quick, all right? Being able to flip their hips, and now they're coming down here, bam, 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 and attacking through the bag. Same thing right here. He's killing it high. He's lazy. One of those guys is still lazy. Stay low. Bam, 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 bam. Get over, get over, get over. Attack through that bag. Attack through that bag. Watch that football. You can see us again. Reenact your football, bam, 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 bam. Attack through that bag. All right. So that's a tackling drill. You can kind of break up the monotony in practice. These are some of the things um, giving you giving you some drills that you can do during your ending period. Like I said, we're a spill team. We got to practice spill. Uh, we got to practice the spill. One thing about it is the rid of off the down block. Once we get the down block, you're going to see those guys squeezing. When we feel an offender coming to us. Now we're going to take our opposite shoulder. So if we're on this, if we, if he's in this stance, he's going to take this opposite shoulder and ram it right on to his inside. All right. Making everything what spill outside. And that's one thing that, you know, we have to practice uh, primarily when I was at Elizabeth city, we were more a box team, but now, excuse me, we're spilling everything outside. So created a drill where now our guys, we got to practice that we got to practice being able to spill that football outside. Now, in this drill, these guys will try to cheat, right? You can see right here, I, I'm I'm simulating. I got the bag simulated in line of scrimmage. This guy's what? This is the center, so he's going down. All right, he's got to squeeze it. He's still got to stay square. He's got to stay square. You can see he's kind of cheating because he's already turned. He don't, you know, you don't know if that guy is coming. So the coach point in this, you want this guy to still stay square on this. All right, and you're gonna see in the next one. I'm gonna get him because he can't cheat the drill. You're gonna see. I'm telling him, don't pull this time. Let's see what he does. See, he's already turned. You ain't get a puller. So 
the, the key with Israel, you want to make sure your guys are seeing that puller. And now once they see that puller, bam, 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 you see, he did a great job right there. We'll go back. He did a good job. He's coming off. Bam, I would say get some more, but you can see he's squeezing it down. Keeping his shoulder square. Now, when you get that puller, you want to make sure you're getting on the inside, bam. You can see. And now, once you attack with that opposite shoulder, you want to rip through his inside, and now you want to square it back up. All right? You're spilling outside, but you now you still could be in a position to make that play if you square it back up. All right? And then it's a violent rip on the inside. All right? Let's get through some of these field drills. And then we have a conditioning drill. Um, I call it hoorahs. And this is something I learned from Pittsburgh. And this simulating right now, we got to get lateral. They get down. What if you get chopped? You got to get up and you got to run to the football. This is a great conditioning drill for your defense alignment. Something you can do, bam, I'm telling them hit the ground. I point the direction. They got to sprint it. 10 yards. Give me 10 yards. We call it hoorahs. Bam, bam, bam. I point and they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. They got to be paying attention. They got to find this a read and react drill where they got to find where that football is. So you can call out you can call out those hoorahs for those guys. So that was the conditioning drill. Just want to show you guys that. Um, if you talked about one thing we try to do, we try to condition through practice. And, um, you know, it'll be a great drill. We also have some turn and cover drills, but that was just the one that I like. Um, it gets you guys, those guys moving laterally. You know, it's hard for us sometimes, those bigger guys to turn, um, but it helps us to move laterally. And, um, uh, find out where the ball is, all right? So now let's talk about some pass technique and fundamentals. Um, the biggest thing with our pass, the keys to rushing the pass, are, again, is get off, all right? You got to anticipate that snap count, and you got to have relent relentless pursuit, and you got to have some pride, man. You got to know, like, this is my down. This is the time to make your money. Those guys that make the sacks make the money, and when we're rushing that pass, so we not only want to be relentless, but we want to rush – and we want to contain and collapse that pocket. And those are the things that you got to stress to the guys, maintaining your uh, maintaining your leverage, making sure you maintain your rush lane. All right, you don't want to get too far up the field, or you don't want to not come off the ball. You want to attack through them. Um, we got some drills where we we walk through. I tell my guys, aiming points of the quarterback or where your rush lane is supposed to be, and they understand whatever side they're on, they know that this is my this is my key on the quarterback. When I'm rushing on a pass rush, this is where um, I need to be. So these are some of the keys uh, to rushing the passer. What I tell my guys, and this is on even run, but you got to know your pre-snap keys. Um, we talk about pre-snap keys before you get down, and I know for us, um, you got to know the down and distance. All right? We worked through all week uh, telling you on first downs, this personnel, they do this. On second down, this personnel, you're going to get this. Third down, this personnel, you're going to get this. So now it's becoming the norm. You know, we've already implemented that until you through the scout report. And now when you get out there, I tell my guys, no, I, I tell them, I'm hollering on the field, pre-snap keys, pre-snap keys. Know you the down and distance, know your personnel. Know if it's a two or three man surface, um, or the pass. Know if it's a vertical or horizontal split. Know where the backs are. Know if it's a one back or two backs. Know the position of them and know where the quarterback is. is he either in shotgun? Is he under the center? You know, know where he is. And those are your pre snap keys to let you know. Okay, this kind of what I get. And they gotta. It's gotta be fast. You can't sit out there and be like, okay, it's uh, third down and they nah. It's a quick glance, all right? You already know in your mind. When you're in tune in the game, you know, okay, it's third down, all right? Ten personnel, um, back, um, he child weak. That's how we designate our back. Child strong, he's to the strong. All right, this is what, we, this is what he got uh, in trio formation. Those guys got to be able to uh, decipher that quickly. So that's what we talk with our pre-snap key. Now, these are some of the drills I um, – didn't want to make this presentation so long, but these are just some of the drills that we do. We do a lot more. I, you, I love the pop-up bags. I got um, endless drills with that. So like I said, again, if you want to get those drills, I'll leave my contact information. We can talk through them. But these are just some of the drills um, 
that we had on tape uh, that we do that has worked effective. This is Bob and Swap. We bobbing and swapping. And then you can see, we'll go back to this. They bobbing. He bob, head fake, bob, 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 swapping throughs, bob, 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 swap through. Now, I teach more of a punch through I instead of a swim. Sometimes Now, sometimes you can get a quick swim, a quick swim over. I kind of let the guys do what they want to do in that. Um, on the swim, sometimes you can get caught up in the swim. Good offensive lineman can attach up here on your uh, breastplate and can hold you. So I, that's why I like to do the punch through where they swap and they're punching through on that, all right? But we work the bags, and you can see at the end, they got to finish, finish, finish. They lean and lean in with opposite arm. It's just like they reaching for the quarterback, all right? Same thing, they're watching the ball, 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 ball. You're going to see right here, bam, 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 lean, lean, lean. Good, ball, ball. Get that good head fake in it, good head fake. Lean, 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 get up, get up, get up. And let's go. That's part of that who Roger. You got to get up if you fall on the ground. Bam, good, good. I would get more lean, but he, he did it. Good job on that. Also got the dip and lean. All right, just, just got to know where we dipping and we want to lean and get to that quarterback. Right here, you're just working that drill again. This could be a pre-practice drill for you, but we do these all the time. Um, working on that dip and lean. Um, on that. Now, this is also a conditioning drill right here for us. What I try to do... Um, I don't know about you guys, but for us, we have a lot of in time. You know, they're going over special teams. We got time to, you know, actually do a lot of drills. All right, so I try to – I have maybe 30 drills. We don't get through all 30, but I have 30 drills just because it's always something you can be working on. It's always something you can get better at, always something you can work on. All right? Uh, this drill right here is just knowing your pass rush lane. So everybody has a key. This guy outside ear, this guy inside eye, inside eye, outside ear. And now what happens is they collapse. But we get a lot of them mobile quarterbacks in our league, so those guys got to be able to run. This is also a conditioning drill, all right? So I just tell the guy, just run around. I just want to see these guys attacking their key, all right? I just want to see those guys attacking their key. Bam, and they running around. Good, 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 good. And that ain't on a quarterback. Just want to see them running, 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 attacking that key on a quarterback. This is another dip and lean. Force. And now I'll just show you some past sacks that we that we had. Uh, this is some of the things, like I said, we did well. You're going to see this guy coming off the edge right here. Bam, where that Bob and Swap. He able to attack down on the quarterback. He did a great job on that. Uh, Doing that again, getting another uh, sack on the quarterback here. You're gonna see in this interior guy. Got to show, got to show them some love. You can see we're able to rush the passer. He's able to get some sacks, and I pointed through right here. We're just going through. I always show the Bob and Swat right here. You can see this guy coming off the edge. Right here, bam, spin. Did a great job. He didn't finish. His other guy got the sack. He was pissed about that. All right. Still in a good job. These guys just getting penetration. We're working that. Standing in your rush lane. These guys do a good job flushing them right to the front. And we get we get some action. We get some action. Again, we get a play action. You can see that guy 42 does a good job. You can see him leaning. He's dipping. Um, some of those guys work some speed to power drills. Bam. He dips right underneath, forces him up. Able for those guys to get a play. Now, just wanted to show you this. This is a good job right here. By this guy, we also work one-on-ones with um uh, our office line, we go one on ones. This guy's a good pass rusher. He knows how to dip and lean. You want to be able to, that's that's he he can do that swim. You can see him right here. He swam over top. Bam, but it's quick. Bam, and now you see how he gets back into that lean on that. Did a pretty good job. So just building a championship team.
Um, these are just words of encouragement. The measure of a champion is how he deals with adversity. And when he conquers, he gains more than victory. All right. Just wanted to leave that with you guys. But again, I appreciate everything. Um, this is my contact info. Have my cell phone number. Really don't get my cell phone out that often. But um, I'm enjoying this right here. Um, if you guys got any questions for me or you want to talk any more of the concepts uh, that we do, just feel free. Give me a call. The best thing probably is to hit me on Twitter at Coach underscore M Hilliard, H-I-L-L-I-A-R-D on Twitter. Or uh, you can email me, but I appreciate you guys listening and um, thank you for that.